As National Police Week comes to an end, one Seminole County 8th grader is working to make sure that those who died in the line of duty will never be forgotten. West 2's Christina Watkins tells us about running for heroes and how you can help the teen with a mission. The sound of sirens echoes throughout Seminole County as 13-year-old Zachariah Cartledge runs for miles and miles. You can call him a cross-country runner, but not just because he can run at a steady pace. He's running city to city, state to state, all for one purpose. We hope this run honors him well. We thank Deputy Walter Jenkins for his faithful service. The idea was I was going to start running for every single police officer and firefighter who passed away in the line of duty. The eighth grader started his foundation called Running for Heroes back in 2019. Since then, he's up to more than 1,230 miles and counting. The foundation's purpose also expanded. Cartledge raised more than $275,000 in donations. This is for injured first responders. He's also now helping canines and families of fallen heroes. Since January 2022, when we started the beneficiary fund for giving families of fallen first responders donations as well, I believe we've raised just over $175,000 since January. Um, and at the same time, we also have given over about over $10,000 in canine equipment as well. Running for Heroes has taken Zachariah across more than 30 states. The 13 year old says he'll keep on going to honor those who risked it all. He worked with the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office in Georgia, and his end of watch was May 11, 2022. In Orlando, Christina Watkins, West 2 News. Ah, oh, what a precious young man. Running for Heroes is based in Winter Springs outside of Winding Hollow. Zachariah says that he and his family are working on a tribute hall of their headquarters to honor fallen first responders as well. It's set to open this October. To donate or to learn more, just head to our website at WESH.com.